There is a place, do 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 do, somewhere in space, ba do da do da, where magical things are happening. Everything you can't be imagining. The enchanted planet is charmed and truly magical. The enchanted planet is everything imaginable. The enchanted. Hello, friend. Thank you for joining me today. It's a beautiful day on our enchanted planet, our place where everything is possible. <laughs> you know, I've noticed that a lot of my friends have been feeling kind of stressed and nervous lately. Some of my friends are feeling kind of worried about what's going on in the world. Do you ever feel stressed or worried? I think it's pretty normal. I think most of us will feel stressed or worried from time to time. I'm lucky that when I feel that way, I've got some good tools or skills to practice. And one of my very favorites that I'll talk to you about quite a bit is breathing deeply. It's a great way to relieve stress. So let's get into our bodies, let our minds feel fluid by breathing together today. Let's start first with an inhale and then exhale with a sound. <laughs> inhale, exhale, <laughs> inhale, exhale one more time with a sound. La, 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 la. I needed to do that. It makes me feel less stressed when I breathe deeply. And now I feel like my body's ready, my mind's engaged for all the fun adventures we have in store together today. We are going to learn about rockets, rocks, and rock and roll. <laughs> We're also going to meet some new friends, a rattlesnake, looking for our friend, the raven. It's a really fun day full of adventures. I've even got some top secret information for you. Are you ready to go on an adventure with me? Let's go. I love looking for a good adventure. Ooh, and I spot one right there. Hola, Sandra. Hola, amiga. Hola, amiga. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy muy bien. ¿Y tú? Muy bien. Gracias. Oh, look at your Spanish. You know, I really love our friendship, and I love honoring our time together. I'm grateful you did. You actually arrived exactly when you said you were going to. <laughs> Fantastic. It's important to keep our word if we can, and that's nice. Yeah. Honoring and respecting each other is yes. part of what we're talking about today. Thank you for that. I love practicing our Spanish okay, with you. Yeah, I love teaching you. Thank you so much. Today I'm talking and learning more about the idea of feeling constricted or stressed okay, okay. versus feeling relieved. So how would I say that I'm feeling like constricted or stressed? Okay. How would you, which word would you Me pick? siento estresada o estresado. Okay, so if I identify as a female, I would say what now? Estresada. Estresada. So, me siento estresada. Yes. I'm stressed, okay? And if I, if I identify as a boy, I would say estresado. Very good, yes. I like that a lot. Thank you. So, sometimes today I have felt a little estresada, but not right now while I'm no. hanging with you. It's okay. It's yeah. wonderful. So, because now I'm feeling relieved instead of stressed, how would I say that in Spanish? Okay, if you identify as a woman, mm. aliviada, ah. or if you identify as a boy, aliviado. I like that. So, would it still be the same, me siento aliviada? Yes. Because siento is I feel. Yes, yes. Oh, me feel. is feel. Okay, so, me siento aliviada. I like it. Okay, one okay. more word. Okay. It yes. is my friend, the raven. How do I say raven? El cuervo. <gasps> El cuervo. Ka. I like your ka. <laughs> Let's ka together. Ka. Ka. <laughs> when I think about ravens, I think about how amazing it would be to get to fly and oh, just yes. soar higher and higher into the great expanse. Oh, yes. Do you think about that oh, too? Oh, yes. Every time I see any kind of bird. Mm. Do you ever think about what it would be like to get out into the great expanse and fly higher and higher? 
We've got a book to talk about today for story time. Did you bring that book today? Yes, I did. Oh, I'm so excited. This is such a cool book, friend. This is called The Man Who Went to the Moon. It's by a seven-year-old friend of mine. Mm. Seven years old. His name is Zaki Sule, and he wrote and published this. Wow, pretty amazing. So let's look and focus. Let's listen and give our attention and have a wonderful story time. Come on. Story time. It's Zachy Sibley, and I'm going to be reading my book called The Man Who Went to the Moon. The Man Who Went to the Moon by Zachy Sule. To all my friends, have a good life. Mikkel loved to play astronaut. He wanted to become a real astronaut, but he was too young to be one. He had an idea to become an astronaut by getting every homework question correct. His teachers were impressed, and every day they gave him lots of homework, and Mikkel beat it. The teachers were so impressed that they sent him to high school at the age of four. But the high school students were mean to him. They set lots of traps. He did not fall for it. Time went by and he got older. At age 63, Mikkel finally went to the moon. When the rocket launched, it launched so high and made a big yank that it knocked Mikkel off his feet. Finally, Mikkel got to the moon and he put one foot on it and flew off. He was lifted up, 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 and up. But a rope was attached to his suit and the other astronauts pulled him back to the rocket safely. Mikkel came back home to Earth, and that evening he watched the news and saw himself in it. He was so excited. He showed his kid John and called his mom. She was happy for him, and she said, Keep up the good work. He started speaking to her, but she still kept saying, Keep up the good work. Mikkel worked so hard and finally met his dream. The end. What's your dream? Did you know that rocks have secrets? <laughs> I cannot wait for you to learn a bit of the top secret information about rocks. My friend Leah Gonzalez wrote a really cool book. Let's learn a little bit about it right now. Hi, my name is Leah Gonzalez, and today I've got some secret information for you about the secrets of rocks. This book is written and illustrated by me, Leah Gonzalez. I hope you enjoy it. On the cover, the rocks say, we're just rocks. Or are we? Hmm, we'll find out. What is a rock? A rock is a solid made up of one or more minerals. Subject, rocks. Rocks surround us. They are in our roads, in our yards, and in nearly every room of our homes. But rocks are not just rocks. Many of them have secrets. This folder details just some of the secrets of rocks. Exhibit A. Rocks are commonly found in kitchens. They are in our very homes. Exhibit B. Gardens are another common place that rocks have invaded. Coal, rock type, 
sedimentary secret used to be a prehistoric plant in swamps or peat bogs. Cole says, I used to be a plant. Whoa. Ringing rock. Rock type, igneous. Secret, when struck with a hammer, rock rings like a bell. Pictured, ringing rock demonstrating its bell-like tone. Ding! Ringing Rocks Park, Pennsylvania. Marble, rock type, metamorphic. Secret, used to be limestone, a sedimentary rock, a whole different kind of rock. Artists can sculpt marble into art. Marble says, an artist will transform me into this beautiful sculpture. Geode, rock type, igneous or sedimentary. Secret, looks dull on the outside, but is filled with crystals. Geode says, ah, aren't they beautiful? They are beautiful, Geode. Pumice, rock type, igneous. Secret, only rock that floats in water. Hardened from a bubbly, frothy lava. Pictured, pumice seen out on a relaxing float. July, 2018. Fluorescent rock, rock type, an igneous, sedimentary or metamorphic rock containing fluorescent minerals. Secret, minerals in the rock glow under ultraviolet light. Fluorescent rock says, do you like my fluorescent glow? Petoskey stone, rock type, sedimentary. Secret, used to be a live coral in a warm, shallow sea. Minerals replace soft coral over time forming a rock that is also a fossil. Petoskey says, I miss warm water. Now you can find me in the c -c cold water of Lake Michigan. Chalk, rock type, sedimentary rock. Secret, used to be tiny shells. Can be used to draw on other surfaces. Pictured, tiny, microscopic, marine animal shells that accumulated at the bottom of the ocean. They say, now call us biogenic ooze. Later, call us chalk. Conclusion. This folder contains only some of the secrets of rocks. There must be more. We are enlisting your help to uncover more secrets of rocks. What else are they hiding? How did they get there? For what are they used? The leading figures in this fight are called geologists or rock hounds. We need more. The rocks say, nothing to see here, move along. Become a rock hound. Step one, search for rocks and minerals around you. Step two, look at them close up. Step three, use books and get help from fellow rock hounds to help identify them. Step four, label them and start a collection. Thank you for reading with me. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the secrets of rocks. Next time you find a rock, pick it up and look a little closer. What secrets might it be hiding? I bet you can find out. Thank you, goodbye. That was so much fun learning about rocks. Do you have any rock specimens at home? We've got a great example of how to get your own exhibit going on our website. I can't wait to see your photos and see what you've been collecting. Now I love rock minerals, but I also love rock and roll. Are you ready for a dance party? Let's go. Dance party. <laughs> Do you have a little guess what we're doing today? Dun, 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 we're gonna play this way. Dun, 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 gotta do it today. Mm -mm, dance party way. Today's dance party, we are featuring a very special friend of mine named oh. Talia Keys. Hi, Talia. Hi. And she does a song called Rockin' Rap. 
raccoon. Oh, man. When I first wrote this song, mm -hmm. I imagined what it would be like if raccoons, instead of like getting into your garbage and eating snacks, what if they found musical instruments? So I imagined that in that garbage can, these raccoons were pulling out a bass oh, and pulling out some drums, Ooh. pulling out a microphone or two. Keyboard. Yes. <laughs> but I needed a friend who would help me sing that song. So Talia does such a great job. Let's find her here. Hi, Talia. Nice to see you today. Day. Oh. It is so fun to join you today. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you for being oh. here. Let's get this party started. Yes, let's absolutely get this party started, my friend. So what we're going to do here is let the music play, let our trees play the beat. Chaz and I are going to support our friend by being her back ground players, That's right. right? Play a little air guitar. That's it. And we want you to do the same thing. So on this, feel free to grab some sort of instrument that you want to play. You might have a real live one at home you want to practice, but we're going to pretend that we have lots of instruments, right? Absolutely. So grab your fake instrument or your real one, on. and let's get this party started. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Talia. Your turn to hit it. All right, trees, back her up, please. Yeah. That's it. What? You got to hit the rock star pose at the end, yeah, right? You have to. Yeah, if you're going to be in a pretend rock and roll band, make sure you've got your ending prepared. Wow, isn't Talia incredible in that piece? Oh, so much fun. <sighs> she played every layer of that music. So talented. She's so talented. I actually asked her if she would be willing right now. And are you willing? Yeah, I know she is. We are going to go back and have you see how great she does all these different instruments. All right, let's hear it again, Miss Talia. Let's get this party started. Yes, girl, your turn.
That was amazing. Oh. Thank you so much. Thanks, I really appreciate you. Bye. Thanks, friend. Bye, friend. Forest Friends. Is this a good time for a visit, Grand Sappy? I don't want to mess with your siesta time if you're resting. <laughs> There's no time like the present, Serendipity. Having your attention is a great gift to me. You know, in this world where people are so busy so often, I think you're right. Giving our attention to people is a very good sign of respect. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Yes, sharing respect with little seedlings helps them grow into kinder beings. Be a friend and listen while others share their feelings. my reverent raven friend. You know, one of my favorite things in my day is watching you and your family fly around the forest. We love seeing you working in your garden and dancing around. Your boss used to make me a little nervous and a bit stressed. Really? Why is that? Well, I know that ravens and people could sometimes eat rattlesnakes. Oh gosh, I didn't think of that. But boy, if I thought the two of you wanted to eat me, that would make my tummy very upset and make me feel very uneasy and tense. When your stomach is in knots with no joy around, you can feel pulled down. Yes, that is how I used to feel. I felt like life would chew me up and spit me out. I would tighten up in a ball and feel like a boa constrictor. Oh, that's not a very good feeling to feel. No. no. Have you ever felt like you're tightened up into a ball like a boa constrictor? That's a feeling that a lot of us have at times. Let's try something together here, okay? All right, everyone, let's try to tighten up. I want you to tighten every part of your body like you're a boa constrictor hanging onto a tree, okay? Get tight, 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 tight. Now I want you to breathe and release that. Ooh, and then expand. Notice the difference between tight or tense and relax and expanded. Wow. Let's come back here. Do you feel tight or constricted anymore? No, I don't. I am relieved and grateful. I have lived near you both for so many years now, and I learned that you both have great respect for all living creatures. That is true. And over the years, we became friends. <laughs> Bye, friend. That was fun today. It's animal fun facts time. Let's talk about raccoons. They're native to North America and can pretty much survive in any conditions, eating everything they can find. Grasshoppers, nuts, berries, mice, and bird eggs. Raccoons are very clever and have hand-like paws that are lightning fast to catch fish. Nobody wants to eat dirt, huh? They wash their food off in water or rub it on their fur before enjoying a good meal. These little guys are pretty smart. It's easy to spot them. They're mostly grayish brown and have what looks like a black mask on with a big fluffy tail that has four to six rings around it. But they are nocturnal, so you'll probably only see them at night. And they sleep all day. Have you ever seen a raccoon? It's common to see them here in America. What other animals do you see in your yard? Send us pictures. We would love to see them. Thank you so much for spending time with me today on Our Enchanted Planet. Remember, it's a place where everything is possible. If you would like to share your gifts with us, have your guardian connect with us to learn more. Thank you for sharing your attention and respect with me today. I really appreciate it, and I hope you feel that respect that I have for you. Mm. Before we go today, I always love to express the attitude of gratitude. 
it is a key to a positive mood. See you next time, friend. Rocks rock. Rock and roll. <laughs> Rockets rocket. Rocks are minerals. Do you like to climb on rocks? You can create a rocket ship. Rockets rocket into space. Do you like rocking back and forth? Rocks rock. Three, two, one, blast off. There is a place, do 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 do, somewhere in space. Ba do da do da, where magical things are happening. Everything you can't be imagining. The enchanted planet is charmed and Stay rooted, kids. Leave you later.